John Tumpain went out for a run earlier this afternoon, the home plate umpire, and on his way back over the Roberto Clemente Bridge after the run and after lunch, he sees a woman climb over the railing and look toward the Allegheny River. And he says, You have grabbed his attention. He asked a couple in front of him what the lady was doing. They didn't know. Uh, he said he wanted to get a better look. Uh, he, and he got closer to her. She appeared calm. Uh, he asked her what was going on. She said she wanted to get her a better look of the city from the other side. And Tampain says, Oh no. He, he grabs her. He locks his arm, his arms around her. He says, You don't want to do that. It's just as good over here, the look. And let's go grab some lunch and talk. And she says, No, no, no. I'm better off on this side. Just let me go. And then Tampain says, uh, I'm not going to let you go. Let's talk this out. We'll get you back over here. She says, no one wants to help me. Just let me go. And he says, no, we're here to help you. And she says, you'll forget me tomorrow. He says, I'll never forget you. You can have my promise on that. He, he then mouthed to a passerby as he's holding on to this woman on the other side to call 911. He mouths to a passerby, call 911. So he continues to try and calm her down. She's very emotional. She cries. She tries to slip from his grip. He locks both arms around her back. And at times, she dangles both feet off the bridge's edge, oh putting her full weight in his arms. Tom Payne said, I, I was thinking, God, this has to be a good ending, not a bad ending. And he, he held on to her for dear life. She said, you don't care about me. I said, I care. She said, I just want to end it right now. I want to be in a better place. He says, you're going to be all right. Then uh, another man came by, helped grab the woman's arm. Another pinned her ankles against the bottom rail. Eventually, the police boat arrived. Then a helicopter, an ambulance, a fire truck, police officer. They put a life preserver on her. They handcuffed one of her wrists to the bridge. And John Tompain said, I was just trying to tell her it was going to be all right. There's help. We're going to be better if she can get back to this side. He said, I said to her, all these people here, look, all these people want to help you. We're all here for the right reasons. We, need, we want to get you better. She was finally lifted back over the railing, placed on a mat. There's the second out, and Echeverria can't go anywhere in a strong throw to the plate. And then she was whisked away. Uh, but, but before she was whisked away, he knelt down next to her, tried to comfort her. He asked for her first name. She gave it to him. He prayed for her. He said, I told her I didn't forget you, that we'd be here. She's better off on this side than the other side. And so I just want her to know that. And then John Tompain, when he got back over to the hotel, he called his wife. He was shaking himself, mm. tried to relax in the hotel room. Unbelievable. That, that uh, yeah, that is. That, that's incredible. Another hero we're talking about right there.